Hello everyone! As you guys can see from the title, today we are doing a swatch and comparison of the new Alter Ego Mystique palette. I am so excited for this one, you guys. I kind of wish this was released a long time ago because I'll give you guys my reasons, but oh my gosh. So you guys, first of all, you guys know how much I love Alter Ego for doing this. I know that some of you guys may have torn ideas about this, but remember that not all of us can afford the expensive price ticket. Not all of us want to have expensive makeup because it's not an investment per se. It's more of like a luxury kind of thing. And do you really want to spend hundreds of dollars on an eyeshadow palette or something that is comparable to it? Even though they are, I don't feel like Alter Ego is 100% duping as far as everything goes with every brand that they actually come out with something similar of. So I will say that because even the packaging is stunning. This one, okay, one of my kids is obsessed with birds, obsessed since a baby. I mean, like all the time, Rio was on repeat in her house when it first came out. So when this palette came in, all I thought about was my kid because of all of the beautiful colors in these feathers. So this palette is $23, I believe, and will be coming out May 23rd if it hasn't already come out by the time you see this video. You're getting your typical 15 shades in here. You are getting those, uh, obviously, the shades that can pop out. And you guys can see that right here. It is stunning, beautiful, beautiful. And the arrangement of their palettes is always very beautiful to me. I feel like they do a good job in thinking it through. So if you guys can see right off the bat, it's in it's in columns of colors. So you have your pinks, your oranges, your deeper colors here, and then your blues and greens. I really do like this one. This one's really, really fun. And yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get into swatching this palette first before we go ahead and pull out the palettes that I have to compare it to. you guys so here is our swatch of the newest mystique alter ego palette right off the bat i could tell you guys that i always swatch these lightly so you guys can see them if you barely put your fingers in what you get out of the palette i will tell you right now there are two cream to powders sky and midnight here is sky and here is midnight as you guys can see right there sky is not as strong in its a base very very light so you would have to actually pack that one on but midnight can actually oh i'm sorry this one's midnight midnight can actually keep up so it it wouldn't be that bad but i have a feeling that these two because they're blues i'm hesitant to say they're going to work well in the eyes i will have to put them on my eyes and really test them out to see how they would work because blues tend to be patchy if they're not done right but I am not saying that right now. I'm just talking about swatches. This is very light. And this one, I can see it working, but we're going to see how it works when you blend it out. So here's the swatches. So now we are going to go ahead and compare it to the palettes that I have for you guys today. All right. So obviously, as you guys can see, this is duping the Natasha Denona Circo Loco palette. I should have said that from the beginning, but I apologize. This is... Basically, it's dupe. And the reason why I mentioned in the beginning of the video that I wish this dupe would have came out now is because I hesitated so long on purchasing this one, knowing that this would not get as much use as most palettes that I would have gotten from Natasha Denona because I'm not somebody who uses these colors every single day. I do love it. Don't get me wrong, but it's not something I reach for constantly. So I would have preferred to not spend the money on this one and would have had an exact dupe like this one. I would have went for this one, $23 versus the amount of money this one's for. Now, bear in mind, I did not spend the full amount on this one. This one I got as a deal, as a bundle deal. So that's how I ended up with this palette. Not necessarily because I bought it when it first released. I did not have a review on this one. I was not that interested in this one. Enough for me to pay the full price. 
So I was hoping that this would have came out earlier to avoid me spending the money on this one. Big difference you can see obviously is the arrangement of colors. This one is mumbo jumbo. I can completely understand how somebody looks at this palette and gets confused, doesn't know where to turn. This orange shade in the center always throws me off because it's just so loud. And it's, for me, it's completely out of place. I wish it was more arranged like this. So obviously this shade is this shade right here. And as you guys can tell, it's not as in your face in this palette versus how it's arranged in here. I obviously will tell you off the bat, swatching these two, you're gonna get basically the same thing. So there's no point in me swatching either one. The main differences you're gonna get is one, the quality of the shadows. Obviously Natasha Nona has really good quality shadows. They're going to glide on. They're going to stay on your eyes regardless of what kind of eyeball you have. For the most part, they will last on you. These will fade on me after so many hours. Not necessarily right away, but it will fade on me after so many hours versus this one that will last on my eyes 10 plus hours and it'll look exactly the same. I can't say the same for this one, especially these color stories I would reach for in the summertime versus the winter. So for me hot humid climates I would pull more towards this one both of them you can rearrange if you want they're both magnetic so you can pull out whatever you want and bring back in the cost is another major difference between both of them I believe this is 129 correct me if I'm wrong it's been a long time and then this one's 23 dollars you're basically getting the same color story it is up to you and what you want to spend, what your budget allows to make that decision for yourself. Do you not mind this color story or would you rather prefer the formula? It's all up to you. And in all honesty, I kind of like this packaging over this one, even though you guys know clearly I am not somebody who falls for packaging 99% of the time. But I will tell you, if I were to look at these two palettes, I would think this one would be more like deeper colors of this sort versus this one that's giving me... Uh, Brazil Carnaval kind of vibes, um, you know, something fun and colorful and bright and beautiful and majestic, obviously, as you could see by the name versus this one, I'm thinking it's a little cuckoo bird kind of thing <laughs> versus a beautiful bird. <laughs> so like a cuckoo bird. If you understand what I'm saying. So even the packaging for me, this is more appealing than this one would. So I wanted you guys to see them side by side so you guys can see both. You're getting exactly the same colors. The only difference will be the impact of the shadow as far as the vibrancy, the depth, the pigmentation, the longevity. And of course, if I didn't mention already the price, and packaging is completely different as well. All right, so I pulled out some palettes that I thought would compare to the um, Mystique palette or the obviously Circo Loco if you have them on both. I'm gonna give you guys a heads up. I am not somebody who has been purchasing a lot of eyeshadow palettes lately. The economy is just so expensive nowadays. Everything is expensive. So obviously I am not spending as much money on makeup, but this is why I love these options because these options allow me to still get new things, gift new things and be able to not break the bank. So whatever I am comparing to you guys today, I'm warning you guys, it is not the latest and greatest. I do not have some of the most trendy indie brand uh, palettes to share with you guys comparing it to this. So I am going to pull out what I have and what I would compare it to if I had to decide whether this is something I wanted to bring in my collection. I'm realistically showing you what's in my collection to see what I would think before I purchase anything. Here's what I'm thinking. This is the Paradise Islands from Nomad Cosmetics. This is a bright palette. This is a beautiful palette. It kind of gives me the same vibes. Like this is more tropical. This one's more tropical as well. So just by looking at them, I get the vibes, but not exactly as you guys can see. I am getting the pinks, like for instance, this color in wild versus this color in more Ia. It's not exactly the same. So this is Alter Ego and this one is the one from Nomad, it's slightly lighter. This one has a little bit more purple to it and this one has a little bit more pink, but you're getting the vibes in there. And that's the whole point is to get the vibes, not exact dupes. What else would I pull? Uh, maybe Monsoon and maybe this color right over here. One's a little bit darker. Obviously this is from Alter Ego and this one is from the Paradise Islands. 
Not exactly, you guys, but it's kind of, what about this one, an ocean maybe? This one's more of a blue, so maybe, let's see, midnight blue here. And then maybe this one, this is a matte. But you're kind of seeing what I'm seeing. Like you're still getting something to the effect. This color in free and maybe fish. Oh, okay. This one's more gold. This one's more green. So you can see that right there. Sky. Cream to powder. I dug in a little bit more in there. And then dolphin. So you could obviously see that dolphin's a lot more. What about live or live? Okay, those two could pair nicely. Hmm. So you guys can see, you're getting, let's try this one more time probably before I give my final thoughts. This one's a little bit more lighter in Nomad and Papaya is a little bit. All right, so you guys are seeing, you're getting the vibes, but not exactly the same. So if you are content with this one and this color story, then you might want to skip out on this one. Or if you prefer this color story because you're not getting this shade in it and you would love that, more tones of orange, which you're not getting over here. Um, you're getting more blues versus here. You're getting more green tones. It's all up to your preference and what you prefer. So this is something that I would compare it to if I was considering purchasing this one. All right, so here's another palette I thought about. You guys, I made such a mistake by wearing beige pants today. I should not be wearing beige pants right now while I'm swatching. <laughs> I'm trying not to get it on my pants. Okay. Um, so this is the new mood palette by Beauty Bay. I thought of this one because it had those tropical punches in here. It's not exactly the same. I wouldn't consider it the same, but it's still kind of giving me the vibes where I'm still getting blues, blues, a pink here with some pinks over here, orange, and these deeper tones over here. So you're kind of seeing where, how I'm thinking, how my process goes whenever I pull out palettes to compare it to you guys. I don't see anything dupe for dupe in this palette, to be honest with you, but I am seeing the vibes. Would you prefer something like this, where it has more of your neutral tones, more toned down, just a few pops of the of these bright versus all of these here. So these aren't exactly dupe for dupe. I can't say they're exactly dupe for dupe, but you can get an idea. Just a few like creative and free. So this is creative by New Mood and then free. You could see the thought process that I had this one and maybe this one. Let's see, New Mood. No, see it's a little bit more orange. What about this color? See, you're, you're, you're understanding where my thought process is coming from. So I wouldn't say it's exactly like, let's try Midnight and obviously Confident. Confident is like deep, 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 deep. So that's not exactly Sky. And this one will be a little bit too purple. This is a little bit too vibrant pink. This one's obviously way too pink. But you're seeing what I, I'm getting at. It's not exactly, but it's something fun. Maybe you might be content with this one and don't really necessarily need this one. So... There you have it, you guys. Just a little bit of a comparison, even though they're not exactly, or maybe you may not have considered it. Okay, and last but not least is the Beauty Bay Naked Tutorials palette. Now, this one has been discontinued, but if you have it, this might be something similar to this one. I do see quite a bit of overlap in here, so we're gonna try to swatch and see what we can come up with here. So first and foremost, I see this blue right here, and then this blue in the Alter Ego. So this is the Naked Tutorials, and then this one, is the alter ego. You can kind of see this is obviously more blue. This one has more white base. And this will also allow you to see these alter ego shadows in a different view, comparing it to other palettes. This blue right here, this is more like a purple. Let's try it with this one. Ooh, we may have found a dupe. Look at that. That's an exact dupe. So this color right here and this one, even though they don't look alike, they swatch identically. Wow. That was a shocker to me. I didn't expect that at all. Let's try Flora and maybe this color right here. Oh my goodness, you guys. That's almost an exact dupe. This is just a little bit more of a white base pink. And this one has a little bit more purple to it. What? I did not expect this at all. Um, What other shade? Do I have an orange papaya? And this one, this one might be a little bit too white base. We'll see. Yeah, so this one's from Naked Tutorials, a little bit more white base. Let's see, what else do we have that we can compare to? 
I don't think anything. Oh, maybe this one. And one of my favorites. No. This one's a little bit more warm tone. This is from Alter Ego. And this is from the Nikki Tutorials palette. Anything else, you guys? Anything else? Is there a light pink? No. There's no yellow. There's no purple. So you guys can see, we kind of got a few colors in here. Not exactly the same. But... It all depends exactly what you like. These three are like my top favorite in this palette, as you guys can see. So I really enjoy them. So I, I like this palette for that reason. But here's another comparison just in case you were considering it. Okay, you guys. So here are my comparison palettes. I'm just a little bit skittish, you guys. I forgot I had a bruise right there. And my arm now is killing me from doing all the swatches. I meant to swatch here. And then I just out of habit. And that bruise now hurts from wiping it so much. But anyway... I really do like this palette. Overall, I'm very content with it. The two cream de powders, as you guys know, are not my favorite, but I'm happy there's only two versus like four of them out of 15. So I'm kind of happy that they are limiting it to this. Two shades that I believe are cream de powder in this palette are the same cream de powder that you get in the Natasha Denona version. Obviously, the Natasha Denona version just works a lot better on my eyes than the Alter Ego one does. Overall, I'm happy with this one. This one's a lot of fun. It's perfect for the summer coming up if you're looking for something vibrant, either to gift it to a teenager. I think this is awesome. If you're somebody who doesn't want to break the bank and wants to have a Natasha Denona vibe kind of palette that dupes the colors, but not necessarily the whole entire aesthetic of it, this one might be something for you. If you want to try out color and only maybe want to pull out your own product because these are magnetics you can pull some of these out add some from other alter ego palettes i think that the the best thing that alter ego has done is bring back the magnetic pans because then you can go ahead and buy other palettes and mix and match and make your own palettes out of them i think that's phenomenal especially now with the economy how things are expensive i think that's a great option for those that can't afford to have everything, but can afford to switch things around and make an old palette look new by just switching around things. So I'm very happy with this palette. I'm there. I really am very content. Now I will try this on my eyes for you guys and let you guys know whether something really didn't work on my eyes. I had trouble with certain things because obviously just by swatching them, they came out beautiful. The only two colors were the cream to powders that I don't know how they're going to work on my eyes, especially because this one didn't really show up and this one the darker ones tend to be a little bit harder to blend out for me. So we'll see how that goes. But overall, I'm happy. I don't have a lot of dupes in my collection, as you guys can see, because I couldn't find anything that was exactly the same kind of color story of it. This is a little bit different. I don't have the latest indie brands that come out with these kind of color stories. So there may be other content creators that may have may come out with other palettes that you may have that may be very similar to this. If you do have those palettes and you off the top of your head can think of a palette that I did not showcase here, please leave it down in the comment section so then those that are watching this video can reference the comment section and see what other palettes may look very similar, similar to either the Mystique or obviously the Circo Loco palette because they're both exactly the same. So that's all that I have for you guys today. If you want to purchase this palette, I do have a coupon code. I always tell you guys, don't you don't have to use my coupon code. You can find somebody else that has a coupon code, but be smart and save money by using a coupon code, even if it's not mine, you guys. Just I'll leave it down in the description box, all the information as well as on the screen. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm very excited about this palette. This one's fun. And this one caught me off guard because I did not expect to see this release. I typically can eyeball when releases come out. And this one was completely a, a, a really nice surprise. I'm very, very happy with it. All right, guys, that's all that I have. I'm done rambling. Thank you guys so much for watching. More videos on the screen for you. Until then, bye.